Wando Rondo is an accused gang member facing drug conspiracy charges. It's been a while since Quando Rondo made the news, and this time around his name isn't in the headlines just because he caused King Von's death, or none of that beef with Lil Durk. The rapper made the news after getting arrested on gang and drug charges. Keep watching till the end of this video to discover what's really happening to Quando Rondo in prison. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to the number one celebrity jeweler, The Ice Champ. The Ice Champ is doing a special deal for the next 24 hours on diamond watches, chains, and more. Follow at The Ice Champ on Instagram now. Quando Rondo arrested. Rapper Quando Rondo made headlines after he got arrested alongside 18 other people who were listed in a multiple-page indictment that included 49 counts of drug charges, gang affiliation, and the illegal use of cell phones. According to reports, all these individuals who got slammed with the indictment were hit with multiple charges, and Quando Rondo alone faces four felony charges. The rapper was charged with two counts of conspiracy to violate Georgia's substances law, one count of participating in criminal activity affiliated with a gang, and one count of illegal use of a cell phone to facilitate a drug deal. Quando Rondo was arrested on June 23, 2023, and taken to Chatham County Jail. According to the Chatham County District Attorney's indictment, the drug deals that Quando Rondo is being charged with occurred between October 2022 and June 2023. Investigations showed that he facilitated a drug deal after allegedly telling another defendant to negotiate a sale and then traveled to Macon, Georgia on June 4th, 2023 to pay a marijuana supplier. Reports show that several other defendants also got involved in the marijuana trade in Georgia. Aside from the four felony charges that Quando Rondo's facing, he's also being accused of violating the Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act after police investigations revealed that the rapper was acting as a gang member for the local set of the Roland 60s Crips gang in Georgia. Before getting arrested, Quando Rondo shared a tweet for his family and fans online, letting them know he'll be home soon. The tweet read, I love you, Paris, Italy, Kia, my mama, Tess, my grandma, Frida, I'll be back. What's really happening to Quando Rondo in prison? Since the rapper's arrest on June 23rd, you'd be shocked to hear that he hasn't exactly been having a pleasant time. I mean, being arrested isn't pleasant for anyone, but being arrested and getting physically assaulted at the same time isn't what anyone is looking forward to. While in court for his first bond hearing, Quando Rondo had a bit of a falling out with the court officials. After the hearing ended and everyone walked out of the courtroom, the rapper, who was still in his prison uniform, was escorted out of the courtroom by a prison guard. However, while the guard walked him out, he was seen pushing Quando Rondo aggressively into the walls and the doors. While the conversation between the two was inaudible, the rapper seemed to have resisted the guard's instructions. While fans have been concerned about the rapper's well-being since the clip went viral, others just want to know if Quando Rondo would be released soon, so he wouldn't have to endure these physical assaults anymore. During the bond trial, Jonah Pine, Quando Rondo's attorney, argued that Quando Rondo was an upstanding citizen of society. In this community, my client is like a local hero, Jonah said. Born and raised here, done good, had a successful business. However, the prosecutors disagreed with Quando Rondo's lawyer. District Attorney Chris Stoffel said, Is he a threat to the community? Yes, Your Honor. The calls that we have show that Mr. Bowman made a phone call to other gang members and said, there are 1,100 members up here, and said, bring your guns here. That is a dangerous community. The prosecutors weren't letting their feet off Quando Rondo so easily, as they pressed that he took guns to safe places like a movie theater. The district attorney said, When you have people coming to a movie theater bringing yeah, guns, yeah. that is the language that's in the indictment. When they say, bring the guns. During his bond trial, the prosecutors urged the court to place the following conditions. 
They asked for an ankle monitor, but Cuando Rondo's attorneys claimed it would be difficult to monitor the rapper's movement since he would be traveling for work. The prosecutors argued that his involvement with the Rolling Sixties gang made him dangerous and likely to run away. The other conditions placed for the bond are to surrender his passport to the clerk of court, to have no communications or any contact whatsoever with his co-defendants. He was also asked not to carry or possess a firearm, and not to use or possess illegal drugs. Most importantly, the rapper will not be on house arrest. Quando Rondo's bond hearing went pretty well, and the rapper's bond was $100,000. Despite his bond being set, Quando Rondo is yet to pay for his releases, as no official report of the rapper's release has hit the media. Quando Rondo's Gang Coming from a broken home with his father behind bars and his mother with drugs and being put through the adoption process multiple times, there was no surprise when Quando Rondo turned to life on the streets for survival. Quando Rondo's affiliation with any street gang ended in September 2022. He was always open about his gang affiliation in the past, often speaking about his association with the Savannah and Atlanta subset of the Roland 60s neighborhood Crips during his teenage years. And until recently, he was always ready to ride and even go to war for his gang. But according to Quando Rondo, he was no longer interested in Roland with the Roland 60s Crips. On September 7th, 2022, Quando Rondo took to his Instagram story to end his affiliation with the Roland 60s neighborhood Crips, after he had mourned his dear friend who passed away in August 2022 for about a month. The rapper walked away from the incident that took his friend out unharmed. While people claimed Quando Rondo was just lucky to have gone unscathed from the incident, the rapper didn't feel the same way. He went on to sever all ties with the gangs he's affiliated with as he wrote, I'm not jump out gang either, ain't no loyalty in this. I'm my own man, I laid my flag down. I'm not NH, y'all ain't gon' ride for a for real. It's no sense of me being a part of y'all. Quando Rondo talked about his gang members' role with the opposition without regard to their members who get attacked in gang wars. He also believed he was being attacked because everybody hated him and he would no longer focus on them. Y'all FW the opposition. It don't take rocket science to see what the f going on. Everybody all ready to hate me. I ain't tripping on the extra hate. I'm about to focus on my family. The ones who gonna really drop a tear if I die. The rapper went on as he had other things to offload from his chest. He talked about the only people he was friends with and that he didn't care about anybody else except his daughter. I f with select few people. My circle super tight. I have f old D, Trench, Los, Serio, Big Dude, and Lol Tim. I'm focusing on myself and my little girl. That's who I'm living for. Do you think Quando Rondo will get out of this quickly? Or would this be karma for ending King Von's life? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.